All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Please, is there a right time or a wrong time for a husband to ask his wife to make love to him? Ah, but wait, though. This sex we're talking about, the ordinary sex, Kenny. Eh? She be when God created us like this now, nah, put us on this earth. This sex that I say we should come and be doing. Eh? So, it's sex that is causing problem between us like this. Sex. Can I three letter was sex? Uh, Pastor, did you hear that? You see, that's the problem. My wife does not believe that sex is, 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 can be a problem. Pastor, do you know my wife can go six good months without allowing me to touch her? Jesus Christ. Sister Onome? Is that true? Pastor Jeremiah, my husband already knows. He knows. Can I, you knew this, you know, but you still went ahead to marry me. <laughs> Yeah, you see that my, my husband doesn't feel anything for me anymore. He doesn't feel anything for me anymore. Which problem this, this is woman this? is going to kill me. This is this is my issue. She does not believe that a husband can fight his wife because of sex. Yeah, but Kenny, she be already married. Am I going anywhere? She be already belong to you. You already belong to me. Why must we have sex every time? Every time? Are you not tired? I mean, that is because I am attracted to you. I am attracted to you, you're my wife! The issue at hand is a very delicate one. I suggest you go home and solve this particular problem as a family. This woman won't change, she can't. She can't change. <sighs> Tell me you don't feel good about it. I like it. <laughs> of course I know you do. So... Don't you ever make the mistake of not kissing me when you walk past. You're really naughty and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> of course I know you do. My name is Mrs. Onome Obi. Nice to meet you, ma. Thank you. So, you've been sleeping with my husband. Stay away from my husband. If I come back here next time. Mm, nice head. I wouldn't be coming alone. Stay away from my husband. I couldn't help laughing. You see, intimacy is very important in a marriage. Wives, if you do not know, men in general love sex. Don't think that is your husband that, uh, you know, uh, no, men in general love sex. Now, Based on a man's, you know, status or, you know, where they are in life, there's tendencies that things might kind of be distracting him. Maybe his job is demanding. Maybe he's one of those that are, you know, handy workmen. So, you know, they're out all day busting. They're, you know, you know, trying to get things done. By the time they come back at home, they're so tired, exhausted. And they, yeah, there's those kind of things. But there's many people you know, that have the standard life, regular life, you know, there is that tendency that, yes, they will come home and more than you want it, they would, you know, hope for intimacy. Chikunu, I'm pleading to the wives. This is not peculiar to your husband. Many men love intimacy and it's your responsibility as the wife to resolve this. Personally, I feel like this is a conversation couples should have before marriage. You want to know your husband's kind of sex drive. You want to know his expectations. In that way, nobody gets, you know, culture shock or expectation shock when you enter and then he's the kind of guy that wants four times a week and you know you are thinking that you know once a month would resolve it you know you don't want to be in a marriage where the wife is thinking once a month and the guy is expecting four times a week so you guys have to have that conversation and make compromise because <laughs> I do not think that once a month <laughs> is enough. You know, in the movie, we could hear them talking about once in three months. Uh, really? <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster. I think from research, there might be a age-based stagger. The younger they are, the more frequent. So, you know, the younger between 20 and 30, you tend to see like four or five times 
six times a week. Uh, maybe 30 to 40 narrows down to like three, four a week. These are not set in stone, you know. Everybody is still different. It doesn't matter the age bracket, but you might still meet people that are 50 and, you know, they want to do they do like the 20 people 20 year old people so it, it this this these are just not set in stone these are just you know you know uh, suggestions that are out there but the truth is that you guys should have that conversation have that understanding make that compromise what you don't want to do is say that this is your body and you don't want to compromise my dear it's very important that you do this because what you don't want is that temptation to enter into your house. When the wife keeps denying intimacy for one reason or another, sooner or later, even an elastic will break. What happens is that he would find an alternative. Now, now I've heard all these things that people walk around saying, uh, if she's not doing what she's supposed to do why not leave her why not divorce her okay i'm gonna educate you guys because a lot of ladies say that i've seen a lot of comments where yeah if she's not giving you intimacy as you want why don't you leave her why would you have to go and cheat why don't you leave her okay let me let you guys on this a man will not leave a woman because they are not getting enough sex. It's not a legit reason to leave a woman. If they are good with many other things, that's a reason to keep her. But it does not change the fact that his sex drive is still off the roof. When you Assume that because you're a good woman that he's not supposed to cheat. Keep in mind that a man's hormonal drive is totally different from a woman's. As much as I'm not trying to make comparison here, I urge couples to find a compromise somewhere. Somewhere that both of you can agree and be happy in. I can tell you guys one thing. If a man starts, I'm not talking about every man, no. So please don't come and say that uh, some men are. If you keep dragging and holding a man ransom for intimacy, sooner or later, he will find an alternative. Alternatives come in different forms. I'm not saying that he will start cheating. I'm saying that he's going to find something that he will take his mind off the sex urge. It could be drinking. It could be drugs. It could be hanging out with friends. It could be avoiding you. It could be so many things. But none of those things are good things. None of those things are things that you'll be like, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, he could continue doing that. No, it would negatively impact your relationship. So find peace with him. You know, find a compromise somewhere. Marriage is already full of, you know, concessions. So find a concession. Find somewhere that two of you can be happy when it comes to intimacy. Because you guys are supposed to be in this thing forever. Forever and ever. Um, and let me also tell you, even if you leave this one, the next one will still be the same thing. She is still a man. He will still be the same thing. So don't consider breaking with him as a resolution. I don't. Even if it's a pastor that you meet, he's still a man. So please, ladies, gentlemen, wives, husbands, don't. Don't, don't starve your partner of intimacy. Before I conclude, I want to throw in another thing because there's something that I know that's a pattern with ladies. Do not use intimacy as a bargaining chip. If he doesn't do this, I'm not giving it up. If he doesn't do this, I'm not... My dear, 
Stop playing Russian roulette with your marriage. Intimacy is not supposed to be a bargaining chip. That's all I can say about this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please subscribe, follow, like, share. My name is CJ and I'm here to deliver sense.